Example 2. Sherry designed her garden as shown in the diagram above. The distance between any two consecutive vertical grid lines is one foot, meaning the distance here in one box is one foot. And the distance between any two consecutive horizontal grid lines is also one foot, so it would be here. Therefore, each grid square has an area of one foot squared. After designing the garden, Sherry decided to actually build the garden 75% of the size represented in the diagram. Question A, what are the outside dimensions shown in the blueprint? So we're going to count <coughs> what our width and our length is. So let's start with length. When we count out our length all the way across, we get that our length is 26. Let's do our width. So when we count all the way across here, all of our squares, we get that this is 12. <coughs> what will the overall dimensions be in the actual garden? Write an equation to find the dimensions and how does the problem relate to the scale factor? So if we go back here, we're going to copy down our length and width. But then we need to also notice that she wants to build this 75% of the size. So we're not going at this complete length, but only part of it. So we're going to take <coughs> each length, or measurement, so let's start with length, 26, and we're going to times that by 75%. So we're going to change this to a decimal. And when we multiply, we get that the length is actually 19 and a half feet. <clears throat> Let's do our width. So 12 times 75%. So we're going to change this to a decimal. And when we multiply, we get that it is actually 9 feet. Now, how does this relate to scale factor? So since the scale factor... is 75%. <clears throat> that means the side lengths of the original are 75% as well. Okay, next question. If Sherry plans to use a wire fence to divide each section of the garden, how much fence does she need? <coughs> so in order to solve this one, I'm going to pull out a new picture. We're actually going to have to count all of the squares that make up the distances around each of the um, fence places. So if we were to count here to here, um, we already know that that is 12. <coughs> So I'm going to trace over these as I count them so I make sure I don't miss anything. So 12, and then we know that the bottom edge is 26. <clears throat> so plus 26. We would have another 12 here. And then our top edge would also be 26. All right, so this piece here also would be 26 all the way across. <clears throat> this would also be 26 all the way across. Um, let's count this distance here. Now this is half a square, so I'm going to count all of the whole squares and then I'll add in the halves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 2 halves would be 9. And it mirrors over here as well, so there's 9. Then the only distance I have left is here, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <clears throat> now when I add all of those up, we get 160 squares. So now we're going to take that distance of the picture and times it by our scale factor of 75%. Change this to a decimal, and we get that the total distance in real life would be 120 
<coughs> feet. Question D, if the fence cost $3.25 feet per foot plus 7% sales tax, how much would the fence cost in total? So from our previous question, we know that we need 120 feet total length of fence. <coughs> now we're going to take that and times it by this unit rate of 325. When we multiply, we get that that equals $390. Now we also have to add in sales tax. Um, so I'm going to take my 390 and we're going to find what 7% of that is. So 390 times 0 0.07. When I multiply, I find that is $27.30. So now we're going to add those two together. So the amount plus the sales tax. and we get a final cost of $417.30.